So Alberta Premier Danielle Smith, she's charging into 2024 with a mandate to take on Alberta's bloated, intractable health care bureaucracy. And her success or failure in that task is going to impact how health care is managed across all of Canada. Because you can rest assured, every premier in Canada is watching Smith closely on this one. I mean, let's face it, Canada's health care system stinks, and no province is an exception. Costs are going up every year, while access is going down. People are dying on waiting lists, and the lists are only getting longer. Citizens are finally realizing it, and I think that's what's encouraging, you know, and empowering some politicians. They're realizing the vaunted reputation of Canada's health care system is a myth. But still, we've got defenders of the status quo fighting tooth and nail whenever anybody speaks of reforming the system or even changing a few little things, much less acting on it. Unions, bureaucrats, assorted socialist activists, they refuse to accept that the system's broken and they're doing everything possible to prevent anybody from fixing it. Now, as more and more Canadians find themselves and their loved ones suffering under the broken system, the appetite for change is finally growing. And Daniel Smith is the first premier to really stick her neck out on the issue. And her battle low is just beginning. I mean, she began by cutting from the top with Alberta's massive health care management bureaucracy. Shortly after she became premier a little over a year ago, her government fired Chief Medical Officer Dina Hinshaw. Then she fired the entire Health, Alberta Health Services Board. That's the bureaucracy that runs Alberta's uh, health care. And finally, she fired Dr. Verna Yu from her position of CEO at a AHS. But not Premier Smith personally doing all this, but under her guidance, the government did. Now, the NDP and the unions and the rest of the usual suspects, of course, they were apoplectic. Legacy media members and activists alike, they rallied in 2023 in the spring election to ensure Smith didn't win. They failed. Smith won. And now she does have a real mandate to reform that system. And it looks like she's going to go for it. Since the election, Premier Smith has split Alberta Health Services into several different entities. Now, I, ostensibly, this is to allow for more specialized policies and different aspects of health care. But there's likely, and there likely is some merit to that. But more importantly, and more likely, that organization is split up because it makes it harder for the bureaucrats to put up an organized front in hindering reforms. Premier Smith warned when she won the last election in one of her speeches, she said she won't let herself be slow rolled by the bureaucracy. But it appears that Alberta Health Services managers didn't get the message as they've been dragging their heels on mandates to improve service. I mean, one simple mandate, for example, was with ambulance services. Tens of thousands of trips are made every year using fully equipped ambulances crewed by paramedics to transport non-emergency patients. It's a terrible waste of resources and it ties up highly trained workers and highly specialized equipment when we don't need to. The mandate was handed down for AHS to seek some private contractors to take over some of the role of the non-emergency patient transport. It's simple, common sense, and it's a big problem, and it frees up ambulances. Instead of taking the mandate seriously, though, AHS bureaucrats devised a ridiculous set of conditions and created a number of barriers for any private contractors trying to seek the contracts. They're moving as slowly as possible. And they're continuing to find excuses not to approve applications. Meanwhile, Alberta is literally hitting situations where regions have run out of ambulance service, including just on New Year's Eve this year in major cities. Premier Smith has had enough of it, and she's laying down the law. In a recent interview, she made no bones about it, and she said, that's what her focus is. This is a quote from her. It's firing the managers who we have paid to solve these problems, and they've allowed the problems to perpetuate, and they've done nothing about them. Yeah, the Premier is coming. It's bold, to the point, and unequivocal. Managers had better prove they're getting things done or they're going to be fired. It only makes sense. It's not an unreasonable expectation in the private sector, and it shouldn't be with healthcare bureaucrats either. Of course, again, the usual suspects have gone wild. They're claiming Smith has overstepped her role or mandate and that she hasn't had the right to make those decisions. Well, I call BS on that. Daniel Smith was elected as Alberta's premier to do exactly this sort of thing. If an elected premier can't call the shots with the largest public bureaucracy in the province, who can? And who should? Union heads? Activists? The leader of the opposition? No, you guys didn't win the bloody election, so too damn bad. The tail's been wagging the dog for too long at all levels of government. I mean, we watched that in Calgary City Hall. It was almost nauseating watching elected councillors being called under the carpet for questioning senior bureaucrats bureaucr and city managers. If elected officials don't hold the bureaucrats to account, who will? Nobody. In fact, nobody has for years, and look where it got us. Shaking up the Canadian healthcare system has been considered political blasphemy for way too long. The system's failing, and thankfully, Premier Smith is willing to break away from Canadian dogma, become an apostate, and get the job done. The Battle of Wills is just beginning, though, but I'm betting on Smith winning it. And when Smith wins and health care begins to improve in Alberta, rest assured other premiers who are too cowardly to put their uh, necks on the line will follow. Alberta's lucky to be in a province with a premier willing to lead.
Her actions and tenacity are going to benefit us all within and outside of Alberta, and it's about time.